Okay, you are fanatics. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, I'm always getting asked this question. Always get asked this question. And I see, I see the pros doing this wrong. How do you fertilize those strips right there? Like I said, I see the pros doing it wrong all the time. They'll have that big old hopper running that fertilizer and shooting it all out down the street, all on the sidewalk. And that, normally they'll just leave it there. Well, I'm not going to say normally, but you've seen my past video about why these guys leave that stuff in the street. I don't know, but I'm going to show you some, some simple techniques that you can use to, to fertilize these, I call them lawn strips right there. These are lawn strips right here, your curb strips. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to fertilize that. Check it out. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, most of the time when you see guys fertilizing, they either they either gonna have the Scotts Turf Builder uh, with the Edge Guard, or you may see um, some of the more professional guys use the Lesco spreader. All right, normally this is just these are the only two options that you're used to. Now the other two options I'm about to show you is going to change the game. Right, guys these two options right here now this is the scott's whiz now i did a video about that a little small review and i'm just gonna be honest with you i love the scott's whiz i mean this 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 is my go-to i love it i love it but it has some cons about it also now this is the scott's whiz and by the way neither one of these scott's is not promoting this or this is a non-sponsored video but these are the items that the average homeowner would actually be using, all right? So now I'm gonna leave a in the description a link for all these products that I'm talking about right here. But these two items, I don't know what else to tell you. I love them. Now the Scott's Wiz, the, the unique thing about this is that it's battery operated. You see right there, and I'll go ahead and squeeze the trigger. Let you see, let me let me kick this back right here. So I don't have to come out, but see how the door open? I'm squeezing the handle. Better operating. Now it also has settings on it where you can put, just like a drop spreader, you can put um, put the setting on whatever you want to. Same thing here, but this is not battery operated, right? This is main. Now what's unique about this? It actually has this extension on it. And guys, I'm trying to do this by myself. Byd Junior, nowhere to be found, but you can adjust that right there. So when you put your hand here, you can pull it back and try to pull it back. And that way it won't fatigue your wrist. If you see that right there. Has settings on this also. Both of these I'm gonna have set at three. Now, excuse me, both of these, this one I'm gonna have set at three when I use the, the bigger granular fertilizer, the prill size. And this one has smaller. Now that's actually some bio advance right there. Weed and feed. I'm not putting it down, but I wanna show you this because look how micro it is this is the same size scott's fertilizers are normally are all right now the whiz generally works better with the smaller fertilizer when you get prill size that big sometimes this part right here will clog up now one thing that will make it clog up if your battery starts to get weak it's not going to put out another way it gets clogged up people uh, leave this outside it'll get damp or they don't clean that bottom out right there and it starts to get caked up or muddy. So you gotta keep that clean, guys. You gotta keep that clean. Mine's not clean, <laughs> but you gotta keep it clean. Now this one, a little bit different. I don't have that caking problem on this right here. You see, I got a lot more space for that fertilizer to drop down. It's just a bigger surface down here than it is on this one right here. Okay, you are for next. Before I go any further, if you are getting value out of this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. It's the only way YouTube will know that you like a BYD video. Hit that like button right now. So, okay, you are fanatics. Look, my face may not be in this video, but <clears throat> what I want to show you is I'm going to use this Wiz, all right? And I want you to see how I'm doing this. Hopefully, you can hear me. I don't have my extended mic. I talk a little louder, but I got this thing set on show you I'm gonna put it on four so just to make sure it comes out you can see that and I'm putting down some stress fertilizer you see I switched it out 
this is some some uh, Sunnyland 7020 stress fertilizer. Link in the description, guys. But I'm gonna show you how I put this down. And normally, the way I do it, guys, is I start on the outside and I shoot it towards the grass. And some of it's gonna go over there. All right. What I'm trying to prevent is fertilizer from coming out here on the concrete. Excuse me, out on the curb and going down the drain. Now I'm gonna get some but I don't want a lot of it out here. So these work a whole lot better when you do it this way versus using the bigger Harper ones. All right, so watch, watch, watch it when I press it. See how it's coming out? Look at that. Okay, you are for next. So you saw when I, that was the battery operating on and I was, doing it, I pretty much kept it where I wanted it, right there in this, this is, let me see, almost two feet wide right here. So almost two feet, I kept it in there. Now get it a little bit closer, that way it won't go flying everywhere. The further back you go, the more it's gonna broadcast. Went all the way down, all I have to do now is get that watered in before I do anything okay, else. Okay, you are for next. Now on this side, I'm gonna use the Scott's world right here now this one is a manual operated one and i will suggest make sure that you get this part adjusted i mean it doesn't come all the way up here but i, I always have mine pulled all the way out what that does is when you're holding it this some of the weight is going to hit right here and it's going to take all that stress off this part of your arm right here your wrist so you don't get carpal tunnel so listen without it you'll be constantly doing this and if you got a heavy load in there it's gonna tilt over. The way they got this one designed is, is deep. You can get a lot in there. Pull that out. So it's just a whole lot more comfortable like that. And I'm gonna show you how I put it down on this. Okay, you are for that same principle. And I'm gonna stop talking as I get further down. But what I wanna do is, this one has the crankshaft on it, all right? When that part right there rotates. You want to get it close to the ground, squeeze the trigger, get it close to the ground, and you'll have to kind of walk with it. Now, this is a slower process, but you, you, you'll see what I'm talking about as I do it. Okay, let's take the camera and let you kind of see. See how it's sitting on top? But I don't really have a lot over here most definitely don't have a lot over there and that's going to prevent most of this from ever getting down to this drain right here but you don't want to wash down the drain you know technically it's against the law for you to put fertilizer down the drain whatever fertilizer you put in your lawn regardless of it being a liquid or a, a granular a hard or a solid it must stay on your property all right so that's one reason why i do that guys if you are one of those young landscapers um, that's just a little small technique. Take one of those with you guys. They don't cost but like 20 bucks. You can get it off the Amazon affiliate link that I have in the description. And uh, they work great. But yeah, I always get asked that question, BYD, how do I fertilize those strips? Um, how do I keep from over fertilizing them? And that's how you do it. So, okay, you are for next. Once we got that stuff put down, that's how you fertilize it. You know, real simple and easy. Next step is just to make sure you blow that stuff back up off the concrete into the grass and I'm gonna show you how to do that it's gonna be in fast motion but notice how I'm gonna go down here first blow it then I come back up I'm blowing everything back up this way up away from the drain back up towards the house Then once I get all the way up here I'm gonna turn around you probably can't you can't see it but I'm gonna come back and blow it back into the driveway then I'll blow it back into the grass check it out So, okay, you are finna ask. Hopefully that, <laughs> that answered that question. I always get that asked that question. People are always asking me. Your, your strips are so green, but I don't never see you fertilize them. And that's what I normally do, guys. I sneak out here and I go ahead and put it down. I got some tips that I don't share with the neighborhood. But yeah, guys, that's how you fertilize those strips. Okay, guys, if this video has been helpful and you learned something, guys, click that subscription button. Ring that notification bell every time BYD uploads a video. You will be notified by YouTube.
need to know how to fertilize your yard. Guys, this is the optimal way right here. Tune into Bermuda Grass Central with VYD. This is Michael Bowman. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, yard fanatics, because you are a true yard fanatic and you hung around. <laughs> Not only do people ask me, how do I fertilize those strips? How in the heck do you water them? All right, what I'm about to show you, like I said, it's, it's a waste of water, but it's something that you might want to try if you hadn't thought of it. Check it out. Okay, you are finesse. That is one of those Melnor rotary sprinklers right there. Hopefully, I have a link in the description for that right there. I forgot what model that is. I, I should have it linked down below. <clears throat> what I do, guys, I normally set it right down the curve. And if you look at it, let me, let me, let me pull it back. You kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna stand right there. So I kind of got to stop right down the middle so the water land down on it. And you can have it fall as far over as you want it to uh, as far as watering the lawn, that part. But that's one way that I get that curve uh, strip watered in real good after I put down a fertilizer. Now, some guys are standing out there with a water hose and, and water it. I'm just going to go ahead and Pay the extra three dollars a wasted water bill and water the concrete and the uh grass now if you're in the water restriction then yeah you may not be able to do this all right right now we're not in the water restriction so I'm, I'm doing this i'm just showing you some of my tips and you see how much greener my strips are as opposed to other people look at them i mean look at them i mean i'm not guys i'm not making this up one thing that, that frustrates me, I, I, I give you the products and you don't use them. You don't use them, but you want the green yard, okay? And these are some of the lawn hacks that <clears throat> some of the pros are using uh, so they can showcase those videos on YouTube. So I just want you to see how I was watering my lawn right there. Check it out one more time before I go bye-bye. All right, you're tuning into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.